in one of the work camps in Qatar, the host of the World Cup in 2022. I've been meeting along with a group from the International Trade Union Congress and a, a special reporting team from the Sunday Mail and workers from all over the world who have come here to earn what they thought um, was a good salary in decent conditions. But the working in the construction industry and helping build this country's infrastructure, transport and much else besides, including the starting on the World Cup projects. And there's some of the stories you hear are heartbreaking. A man who, a proud man who's lost his sight in one eye, who's had to go back to work because he wasn't being paid, and he hasn't been able to go back home um, to Nepal um, for over two years. A man who has been here for five years, whose companies went bust or the boss has disappeared, and because of the controversial kafala system, whereby the people can only leave once their boss allows them to, he cannot find his boss, so he cannot leave because he doesn't have a passport. This is a, a, an amazing country with a very small um, Qatari population of only perhaps a quarter of a million. Most of the population are migrant workers, they fuel the economy. And of course there are real controversies about workers' rights. I've met the people who are running the World Cup. They're starting in all the building sites. And they've given myself and the Sunday Mail promises about the way in which workers' rights will improve. Well, you know what? They're going to have to go an awful long distance to improve this. Because we cannot have a World Cup that continues with this sort of workers' rights and abuses that's already experienced in the wider construction industry. The improvements that have been promised have to happen. Because this isn't the deal that the world signed up to. This isn't the vote that FIFA had, that the, work, the workers should be treated in this way. But these nine stadiums, yes, of course they're going to be built on the sweat of workers, but it shouldn't be built on the blood of these workers. So the abuses that happen more widely in the economy should not be allowed to be um, repeated as they build the stadiums. So FIFA has got to act. The Scottish Football Association have got to stand up and speak out to make sure that FIFA act so that the Qatar World Cup is something that we can be proud of, not just as a football festival, but so that there are not the hundreds of deaths that we all fear and the construction of these stadiums, the hotels, the railways, roads and underground networks that are necessary for the World Cup. So if you care about football, if you care about workers' rights, get involved, speak out, lobby the SFA so that things do change in FIFA and things change here in Qatar for these workers and thousands, indeed hundreds of thousands like them, who are coming from all over the world to help build the game that we love and a tournament that we want to see as a success.